On a recent unseasonably warm October Saturday, almost 200 men, women, and children met at TAE Clinic on Western Avenue. They heeded the call to come and clean up the area of Western Avenue between King and Exposition. We come to clean it up. We come to clean it up. They were loosely calling themselves the Reclaiming Western Avenue Coalition, and members including THE Clinic, the Neighborhood Coalition, the LAPD, Community Coalition, USC's Latino Business Student Association, Fauché Learning Center, and more. Thank you for coming out and taking care of your neighborhood. Uh, this is so important that individuals within the community continue to look at ways to enhance it. Uh, we're so pleased that the TAT clinic is here. Amen. Although it was a long-term tenant over in the, uh, the Crenshaw, uh, Baldwin Hills area, but when we are building a shopping center, they had to move. We're so pleased they stayed in the 8th District. Uh, this community has so many positives. Now, if one of us had bumped into each other and caused an argument, we'd all be filming 11. But the fact that you're clean up the community, you're getting along, you have a rainbow of neighborhoods and ethnicities and communities and this is the way this community functions it is not newsworthy so i just want to say thank you so much for coming out uh, it is important that we keep our neighborhoods clean that we take the active role and that we are responsible for our own actions in our community the clinic board member doug nelson welcomed them all along with the Neighborhood Council, we also have a community of friends that has a housing unit that they just built and refurbished across the street. Let's give a hand to them. And we are committed to making Western Avenue the epicenter of health here in the city of Los Angeles. I don't care what you've heard in any other part of the city, this will become the epicenter of health and it will become the cleanest and most healthiest location or corridor within the city of Los Angeles. Michael Rania, president of the Empowerment Congress North Area Neighborhood Development Council, spearheaded the event and brought everyone to the table. He takes his job seriously. And, and I hope that when people ask you and they see your shirt on the next few weeks and they say, what's going on? You can tell them, I'll tell you what's going on. What's going on is we have a problem on Western Avenue. And the problem between the liquor stores, recycling centers, and the residence hotels is repeated over and over and over in South Los Angeles. Go look at the sign when you pass by. The alcohol that they sell is 24 ounces of beer for 95 cents. That's cheaper than water. The change that we want is immediate. It's radical. It's right now. It's today. We want this change this year. We want this to happen right now. Soon the troops were ready to roll out. Workers cleaned out shanties the homeless built on one neighbor's property. The LAPD got a crew together to clean the tennis courts where those hapless souls were sleeping. Local businesses got involved, including the plumbers from LR Services Plumbing. Hey, this is Winters from LR Services Plumbing Company, and we are here along Western Avenue. We actually saw a lot of trash to, to begin with, but we also did see a lot of positiveness as the people drove down the street 
they, they were just in amazement. They, they, they slowed down, they stopped, they looked to see all these green shirts and red shirts and people just walking down the street cleaning up. I think in this neighborhood, this is probably something that they have never seen before. And, and I'm amazed at all the help we had of cleaning the streets and helping some of the homeless people. And um, it's just a very good event. You look back from what you did, you can just see the big difference um, that it makes, just a little bit, you know. That's Mr. Sotelo. He brought his entire family, including one in the stroller. He says he just came back from cleaning up his community, and he's tired. Many were impressed by the students from Fauché and USC. My name is Andres Padilla. I'm, I'm the director of community relations for the Latino Business Student Association at USC. And... It was good. It was a lot of hard work, but it was good. It feels good at the end, and we know that we need to make a presence in the community. And, um, you know, it's good to come out once in a while since we're busy with school and whatnot. But it's a good day to come out and, like, enjoy uh, the, the community as well as, like, the day-long celebration that we have today. When they all came back and got cleaned up, Lourdes Birba of THE Clinic Incorporated welcomed them back. I'm Lourdes Birba. I'm the interim executive director for THE Clinic, and we've just had a wonderful morning cleaning up Western Avenue with staff that came to support the event and other community uh, entities that helped us. It was wonderful to just clean it up for the day, bottles, papers, just junk that really... Um, demoralizes the community and we now have beautified it for the next few weeks and let's hope we keep it that way. They broke bread together and met their neighbors. Urania was successful in getting people together at the same table to talk about keeping the area clean. They were not just sweeping the dirt under the rug. Their coming together had the potential to affect real change in this one Los Angeles neighborhood. Urania said he hopes it continues. I'm Isidra Person Lynn. What's going on? We have questions, but we also have answers. If we're a family, we are together, we are here to clean up, work together, and be a family. Amen? Amen. Amen. So let's do this. All right? All right. <laughs> clean it up, clean it up, clean it up, clean it up, clean it up. Talk to me so you can see. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? I tell you, what's going on? All right, thank you. My World Podcast.